Good afternoon and welcome to NYFP. This is your weekly technology segment from the NASDAQ. The Labor Day holiday weekend marks the gradual end to sweltering summer days and beckons cooler and shorter days ahead. Now VMware and Salesforce introduced new technologies this week at their respective conferences. Every year back to school season makes it clear what technologies are trending. While at the conferences this week for both companies, they showcased advancements in cloud infrastructure. Meanwhile, Dell has decided to partner with both companies to expand into the cloud system. The company is building a network of private clouds with B VMware software. The Dell Cloud is a way for enterprises to adopt hybrid cloud environments in a low-risk manner. It is scheduled to be available next month to beta customers, and for those customers throughout the U.S., Europe, and the Asia-Pacific region, they will be um, available starting in late 2011. At the same time, the PC maker is also aiming to help small to medium-sized businesses operate with fewer resources. The Round Rock, Texas-based company is offering a CRM tool that relies on software from both Dell and Salesforce. The Dell Cloud Business Applications is a set of integrated software as a service applications. It will have cross-application uh, cloud analytics and will be supported by end-to-end -end Dell services. And on to other news, Facebook will be announcing its music streaming service at its developers conference later this month. The social network's music service will utilize third-party services, and although specifics have not been confirmed, licensed music services are expected to form the lineup with uh, users able to share their musical preferences with their friends. In other tech news, tablet devices continue to be in the spotlight. Starting out with a look at the HP touchpad, it is making a comeback for a bit longer. Hewlett Packard announced massive changes for the company. In the middle of August, HP said it will be moving away from its consumer business and refocusing on its uh, enterprise clients. Now, the weekend after its announcement, many consumers across the U.S. scrambled to purchase HP touchpad tablets at rock bottom prices. Now, the tablet device will be seeing the production line one last time. Surprisingly, the company will be producing more tablets, which could mean losing money for HP. While many would uh, not argue that this is not a wise decision, the Palo Alto, California-based company will be able to meet purchase commitments to its supply chain partners. Although it has not been confirmed Amazon plans to enter the tablet market, a launch is expected for such an Android device this autumn. So far, analysts are saying that a tablet from Amazon would be better positioned to compete with the top contender in the market, the Apple iPad. Although there is much speculative analysis over this tablet device, perhaps the e-commerce leader may be poised to compete with the iPad given its overall resources. And that does wrap it up for a weekly technology segment from the NASDAQ. Thanks for watching and have a great holiday weekend.